This video was made possible by you. If you want to save time and support what I do, check the link in the description that will take you to my store where you can purchase the source file for what we're creating in this video, as well as other tutorials on my channel. Thank you for your support and let's get back to the video. All right, everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can create an animated gradient background in Figma for our mobile app design playlist for our mobile app design file. Let's get into it. And as always, if you wanna see how we created all of this, go to the playlist linked in the description if you wanna also get the source file for all of this. Also check the link in the description as said at the beginning of the video. And now let's get into it. All right, so as you can see, we have all these color styles on the right. So we're going to be taking advantage of that, definitely. But let's start with a rectangle. So I'm going to press R on my keyboard. I'm going to create a rectangle. Let's make this rectangle the same width as our pages. So 393. Let's go for 393. 393, all right? And in terms of height, I don't know, I would just why don't we make it like exactly the size of the screen so 852 all right so 852 did i do that on accident probably did never mind so let's select a background color purple i don't know what about mid blue let's try purple it doesn't really matter for now because i'm just going to show you the basic mechanism let's rename this to animated gradient one and i will now turn this into a component so we have a component called animated gradient one and i'm going to add a variant i'm going to then rearrange this next to the first variant and i'm going to change the component property to be called state and we're going to name these states one and then two. So the basic logic behind all of this is the following. We will take this rectangle, right? We will detach the style and we will add a color on top of that. Let's go for like blue. And now let's change the color to gradient. I think let's go for radial one and then expand this little thing and hold shift key to get like a proportional gradient. Okay, then I'm going to click this, which is going to flip the gradient. So basically we're going from blue to purple like this. I am going to now place this somewhere around, I don't know, here, and the second point somewhere around here. And let's say we want to make this go from here to here like that okay i'm going to have to copy this gradient so just let's select the first one select this and command c and then on the second one let's do command v all right this is gonna create this situation so they are basically now completely identical and what i'm gonna do with the second one is i'm just gonna just gonna position this gradient to a different position right like that for example and what i'm going to do next is now that i have two different states yeah i'm going to go to prototype over here with this selected and i'm going to connect the first state to the second state okay we get an interaction and i'm going to do after delay this delay is going to be one millisecond so it's going to be basically immediate change to state two and the animation is going to be smart animate and it's going to take 600 milliseconds okay and then i'm going to do something similar but in the opposite direction so i'm going to connect the second one to the first one again after delay you can see figma remembers all these settings so we have basically created a loop this is going to go back and forth we should see this gradient moving like this, okay? So why don't I test this? Why don't I actually create a new page? This is gonna be called new test page and guess what it's gonna be? Yes, you got it right. It's gonna be new test page three. 
which means we also need a new button. Select this, Command D, New Test Page 3. This is not essential for the gradient animation. I'm just integrating this into the existing ecosystem that we have in place. I'm just gonna make I'm just making sure that you can navigate to this page from the first from the first homepage. Let's remove all of this that we don't need now. Let's go back to design and let's click this actually. Yeah. And let's change the selection colors from black to white. You're gonna see why later. And maybe we're gonna turn this into H3 and say animated by background question mark and this component I'm going to take command X select test page 3 command V and then option H and option V and lastly I'm gonna do command option left bracket this is going to turn this into a background element it's in the very background so you know it's behind everything. This doesn't look too good, so let me disable the background and go to selection colors and go to white and then white on this one as well, right? This is gonna invert this. Ideally, we wanna have an inverse version, like a dark mode version of this, but for now it's plenty, it's enough. And I think we could hide this fade page bottom altogether. Let's just hide it. And additionally, let's just turn this to a white headline as well. And now, let me launch the prototype, reset by pressing R. We are back at the home page. And again, if you want to find out how we created all of this, look at all of this. I mean, guys, this is pretty, this is pretty awesome. Look at these highlights, these loading things, these, all this, pretty exciting. If you want to see how we did this, go check the video linked in the description. The playlist linked in the description actually there's a five hour tutorial on all of this now new test page three and boom what do you see you can see that it's going back and forth you can also see there's some kind of a pause and actually i'm not sure if we can see it very well so let me just change the colors a little bit here so that it's completely Oops, no, wait, actually, sign like that. Now, this is ugly, but I just want to show you the functionality, right? Now, everybody can see it, definitely. And also, additionally, yep, there it is, the after delay. We forgot to set this up to one millisecond. Now, it should just ping back and forth. Can you see? Can you see it? Right, that's basically it. Yeah, I think I'm going to turn this back to the purple because I really do not like this color combination. But yeah, now this looks a little bit weird, a little bit too distracting. And what could be done is I think we could just make this. Why don't we make this actually quite slow? Why don't we go for 1500 on the way there and 1500 on the way back? What does that look like? That's looks a little bit more organic. A little bit more natural so yeah we can go even for two thousand milliseconds you want to make this barely noticeable you want to make this look like like it's alive but at the same time you don't want to go overboard with this yeah that's what we're doing is it actually working is it actually working i don't think this is working let's relaunch the prototype let's relaunch the prototype i think it got stuck there let's see Okay, now it's running. Okay, so like it's a smooth little thing. It looks pretty nice. Don't forget, you can also add you can also add more steps instead of this animation going back to the first state from the second state. We could remove the going back animation, and we could add a new animation that goes to from here to here. I simply clicked this and then option and dragged it, right? Created another variant. This is going to be after delay, one millisecond, also 2000. And then this is going to return back to the initial state. So we now have a loop with three steps and we could change the position of this gradient. For example, move it here. That's going to look bad, but it's going to be noticeable. So I just want to show you. Let's reset this. Okay. 
And now, can you see? It's over here and it goes back here. So it just goes between these three points. All right. Also, let's just make this bigger. It blends in on purpose, right? It's like the colors are similar on purpose so that the background, you can actually place something on the background and it doesn't, it's still, it's not going to be too distracting. So we're going to strike a nice balance. Yeah, and that's pretty much the logic behind animated gradients. I think this warrants creating a new section that would be called backgrounds and wallpapers that will be placed right here, will be placed right here. And we're going to place our first background slash wallpaper here as well. All right. For creating sections, that is shift S and click and drag. That's creating a section. Also, let me just move these boom like that. So that it's nice and neat, tidy. And yeah, we have created an animated background gradient in Figma. You can adjust it as you see fit. You can add steps, remove steps, add colors, remove colors. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you found this useful, please leave a like. If you want to get all of this and support the channel and save time, check the link in the description. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one.